YouTube, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having a great day. We are going to be doing Toyota Tundra stuff today. Again, this is going to be a really nice how-to on a huge stereo. So let's go over to the car. Um, I'll show you the OEM one. I have a 2007 uh, Toyota Tundra. Mine looks souped up because I've souped it up. Swingbymystery.com, grab a TRD badge, of course. Uh, I do have the carbon fiber overlay already, the new leather seats. Um, these are seat covers that are absolutely amazing. I think they're from Clausio is the brand. I uh, got the rear leather seats. They look amazing as well. Um, and then, of course, the uh, AJT dials and knobs, and then um, the AJT shift knob. A lot of interior mods, the key, just tons of stuff I've already done. So the next thing we do, of course, is we need to upgrade this stereo. Some things that I liked about the original OEM one is, is that it's actually piano black. It's uh, really, really nice looking. It's, it is aesthetic. It does have an MP3 um, and it has a CD and it looks good. I mean, for the year 2007, it's really nice. It's actually really flush, but we are end up going with this. So this is very common right now. This is pretty much just an Android tablet is what I, it is, but it's going to be, they call it a touch screen. Uh, it should be plug and play. Um, they're roughly about 200 to 250 US dollars to get one of these um, and it should just be an overlay and sit flush. So I'm going to show you guys how to install that today. We're going to leave the plastic on there so we don't scratch it while we're doing the install. Uh, plug and play wire harnesses right here. We're not going to be using all of these, um, especially like the uh, USB stuff I don't use very much. Um, but I am going to show you pretty much plug and play how to do this appropriately so it fits perfectly into the Toyota Tundra OEM wire harness. First thing, let's do Lefty Lucy on that shift knob. Um, I, I don't know how much of that we're actually gonna have to remove off there, but let's do Lefty Lucy. We're gonna remove this lower part so that we can pull that out. So we'll do Lefty Lefty on, Lucy on the shift knob and then we'll start pulling, um, pulling this out right here, the center console. So to get this out, I, uh, again, I did Lefty Lucy on the shift knob. All you gotta do is pull up on this. There's little, th I don't know, 15 of those little tabs. Pull up on those and um, that will release it and then you'll be able to get to the lower part of the radio so that we're trying to get this removed. Again, to remove this one, you just pull. There's four cl cl clips on it and it'll just come towards you. Very simple. Okay, so once you remove the lower one, remove this, and this will just, again, pop up and out towards you. Remove it and pull it towards you. Unplug the clip here. Um, you'll be able to remove the surrounding it's silver on yours mine's carbon fiber by just pulling out towards you again now behind here all of this unit is one unit this lower climate control sorry lower climate control you'll be able to pull that out next um, and then you should be able to access the radio stereo so once you have that pulled back there's gonna be four 10 millimeters 10 millimeter here 10 millimeter here unfortunately I don't know why for some reason I didn't bring my extension with me I think that you might need Phillips head screws which I brought but we're gonna need that last one to unhook that back there um, and then once I do that once I have that I believe undone it should be able to come out I believe I believe that's the only thing that's holding these brackets in and um, so let's go ahead and get a 10 millimeter so this is what you'll need. It's a 10 millimeter with an extension. Unfortunately, I had to go back and get that. So uh, I do have that now to go and reach back in there. You'll need the same tool. You have the four 10 millimeters out all in the lower section for the mounting brackets. You just pull on this. You're gonna probably wanna put your hand here from the lower middle and pull out towards you. Uh, make sure you have good clearance. These usually weigh a lot, which it does weigh a lot. Um, it's gonna have the wire harness connected behind it. So let's unplug it and remove the OEM factory radio. I want to transfer the pins from the OEM one over, so get those over. Once you do that, you're going to come over here and you're going to get the OE or aftermarket supplied wire harness that will plug into the OEM one. We're actually going to plug it into the um, OEM wire harness first and then connect it into the radio just to make sure everything looks alike. So since I have a basic um, SR5, I don't have a limited or anything. I think this is the only one that you're going to need right here. Uh, you'll do, because look here, this matches perfectly. So they did give you, I believe, two sets of wire harnesses. Um, that This would probably be for if you had steering wheel control, which I don't. Um, and I actually, to believe it or not, it looks like I might actually have one of those controls down here that maybe would go to it, but I'm not sure. Uh, that being said, at this point, um, we're not going to use any of uh, this secondary one um, because mine is uh, SR5 and not a limited. So I believe that this with the radio connection should supply and be enough for us to have power and have the radio work. So let's go ahead and try that now. Bam. Okay. To uh, install this, it's really, I actually don't like it. I wish there was more bolts but there are they got rid of the 10 millimeter bolts there are no so I, I didn't show you guys but literally all you do and the reason i didn't show you guys is because the screen wants to fall forward so literally all you do is just push the screen in 
plug this back in the climate controls and then once the climate controls are back in you just push and it just goes in which i don't like um it's pretty i mean it makes it like floppy in my opinion it is what it is i mean what else are you gonna do about it um looks very aesthetic though really really it looks really really good um so now what i need to do is get the rest of the lower part of the um pieces and push them all in together uh, but before we do that of course you want to check to make sure your your work your work works so we'll turn the key on so there it goes automatically turns on pretty quick uh, very aesthetic very nice very modern looking looks really good when it's off but also when it's on so um, radio so we can go here so we got music already and then um, volume there that's kind of cool um, Let's try a different station. Let's try over here. Let's try like the 106 one, I think is what it is. So we'll try this. And then I have a volume over there. Does it sound better? Yeah, it does actually sound better than the uh, original equipment. So that's pretty cool. Um, it looks very aesthetic, looks very modern. It looks really nice in my truck. Um, Again, I really don't like, I knew that when I bought this, I already did research on it. I knew that when I bought it, that it wasn't gonna be like a super sturdy OEM factory part, which I wish it would have. But for um, $200, it looks really nice. It has an actually pretty good fitment overall. It's pretty good. Um, I might push down on it a little bit further when I get the rest of the plastics clips back in. So let's do the clip, rest of the plastic clips. All right, pretty aesthetic. Uh, again, I can't get this to just stay flush. I mean, I even put a zip tie behind it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just the aftermarket. There's just a tiny, tiny little thing that drives me nuts. You, I don't know if you guys can see it, but whatever. Um, may, I might re, re, I might re take it apart one more time and try it later. But, uh, so what you're gonna do is reclip all the climate control back in, reclip the lower one back in. Uh, we're gonna grab the, uh, lower parts right here. I also put the, uh, shifter surround back in. It just clips in and, uh, we'll get the lower part right now. Just like that, you got a big giant TV in your truck. Pretty awesome. Um, let's go ahead and play with it a little bit. Uh, overall install, it's probably gonna be like a two. It's not very difficult. Unfortunately, again, I don't like that it doesn't sit flush enough. It needs to sit more flush. Um, I think that's just the way that the Tundra is. I mean, whatever. This is pretty all tight over here. This is clips in, but again, this upper part is just um, Let's go ahead and turn it on here. It looks really, really nice. So I really like it a lot. Um, yeah, I like it a lot actually. Let's go ahead and look here. So pretty amazing. Um, you know, you can put your Wi-Fi on it uh, and then have all your apps here. Uh, pretty cool. I like these ones because with these kind of tablets, you can run like, a, they call them a dongle. What a funny word, but you can put the OB2 sensor in and then you can actually run with, you can download an app and you can actually see the diagnosis of like everything that's going on in the car. It's pretty cool. Uh, live, actually, at live. Uh, again, I have Google Maps, which would be pretty cool. So um, with this, what you'd want to do is you'd want to turn your uh, Bluetooth on, and then it'll automatically allow you to um, uh, do Google Maps. Man, that looks good. Okay, so turn it on. I was, I'm not able, I don't know how, for some reason, I can't figure it out how to connect to the Wi-Fi. I'll have to figure it out um, off camera. Um, but really cool, it's actually pretty quick. Uh, I mean, it's okay. It's not the fastest in the world, but I've seen other ones that have been way slower. Uh, it does have the radio icon, so if you just wanna do your original radio, and then you hit, I think the power, yeah. Machine. You, so you can hit the power button there, it turns on. Um, that actually looks really, really aesthetic with the rest of the truck that's all matching so I like it a lot uh, for the bang for the buck it's pretty good uh, I just wish this would be a little bit more flush but again I was just thinking you know when I touch this stuff I'm not like smashing on it, it it's fine and it's aesthetic I just wanted it just to sit a little bit further back into the little cove there but that's okay so uh, I hope this is helpful make sure to like subscribe I don't know if you guys can see my face it might be dark in here make sure to like subscribe We're coming really close to finishing the truck build we need to do some wheel spacers we need to paint the wheels black and um, maybe some like LEDs and the dome dome lights and stuff like that. But other than that, I, I'm, I'm pretty much done with the truck. It, it's pretty awesome. I really like it. I think it needs a new battery. Um, if I like left the radio on for a while, it kind of wants to die. And it, when I bought the truck, I think the battery is dying too. So other than that, make sure to like, subscribe, swingbymister.com, uh, and I'll see you guys on the next video. We're probably gonna go back over some more car stuff. Like, subscribe, see you guys on the next video.